Hi, my name is Dave Berta. I'm the Product and Application Specialist with Ransom & Randolph. And today we're going to show you a video on how to determine when your shell is dry or not. It is important to know when a shell is dry because dipping a wet shell can cause the shell to be weak, which can lead to cracking, leakers, and various shell defects. r, &R recommends using an infrared thermometer to determine if your shell is dry. When you first dip and stucco your shell, it will be at a much lower temperature than when it's dry. Once your shell is at room temperature plus or minus a degree, your shell is considered dry. When dipping parts with complex geometry, shell temperature should be checked where it would be most difficult to get airflow to. You can also add redip indicator to your slurry which takes the guesswork out of shell drying. Shells are dry when the color changes from greenish yellow to orange. The scratch method is a more crude way to determine if your shell is dry. To do this, simply take a piece of scrap wire or metal hanger and gently scratch the surface of the shell. If it's wet, a visible scratch line will appear and a mixture of slurry and stucco will come off in clumps. If your shell is dry, no visible scratch marks should appear and no clumps should come off. However, some minimal loose stucco may flake off.